Hey everybody, today I have something interesting for you. I'm going to show you how you can make digital art like this, or this, or this, by only typing in a sentence. Stay tuned. Today we have Doll E. This is the program that I'm going to be talking about today that can generate artwork for you. It is pretty much free. Pretty much, I say free with an asterisk. Um, it's semi-free and it takes almost no time at all, but I think either way this, this technology is fascinating. I do think it has the potential to benefit a embroidery and a printing business because you are generating art and typically if you have to design something or make something, you do have to either pay for it or spend a lot of time yourself making it. So what I'm gonna do is kind of shrink my head down and show you guys my desktop, which is on this website called openai.com. You do have to make an account, and like I mentioned, it's free with an asterisk in the sense of when you make an account, you get 50 free creations or search queries, and every month you get 15 extras. It's free with an asterisk because if you wanna do more than that, you do have to pay for credits, but if you're only trying to use a few, it's essentially free. But once you make an account, you're brought to this page, which is very, very simple. It has a prompt, tells you to just start with a detailed description. And if you hit surprise me, it will give you just a miscellaneous randomly generated uh, concept. Then you can hit generate and it will create something. Additionally, you can upload an image, which is kind of cool, and get variations or make small edits to that. And then underneath that, you get a bunch of images that look like, you know, high level artwork that has been made by maybe some human, but actually has been created by Doll E. Uh, and of course, if you hover over them, they'll tell you the query that was typed in to get something like what they got. I've gotten some inspiration on it to kind of see what words, you know, might change something. For example, you know, if you're trying to get a specific artist's style or if you want to get a sketch versus an oil painting or a render. But yeah, there's a ton of different things you type in here. And honestly, the more specific your description, the better it comes out. They do have a content policy. So read through this about things you can and can't upload. Um, a lot of it's pretty obvious, but you know, you want to read the specifics in that there it is available. Make sure you read through that before playing around with it. But for this video, I'm going to keep it as simple as I can. I'm going to type in maybe one or two of these things just to kind of show you guys how it works. And with that, I'll leave the website in the description if you want to play around with it yourself. Regardless, I'm not affiliated with them. Um, this is just my recommendation, so use it at your own discretion. So I'm thinking for the first one, since I don't have anything in my head right now, I'm just gonna hit the surprise me button and it pulls something up. So we're looking at a stained glass window depicting a hamburger and french fries. And to make sure it's not like something that's, you know, they have ready to go. I'm gonna say, let's see, like oil painting, right? So let's hit generate. And honestly, the part that probably surprises me the most is how quickly this works. Within 30 seconds, a minute, even quicker than that usually, we already have results. So here we go. Stained glass window depicting a hamburger and french fries oil painting. And I mean, all four of these are pretty much that. But yeah, I, I, I honestly, the first time I used it, I was kind of a loss for words because it's of how cool it was. To further demonstrate this, um, say I kind of like these, but I don't want it to be oil painting. I want it to be like a mosaic. Uh, how do you spell mosaic? Mosaic? Is that an S? It was supposed to be an S. Mosaic. Let's try that again with a mosaic. And here we go. I mean, like within within a minute, 30 seconds even, we, we get these results in granite. I wouldn't print this on a shirt, but like, for example, in the business mindset, if you have a client or a customer that's wanting a specific image, uh, that's not a logo not text or anything like that, but they're having trouble visualizing it, you could definitely just type it in, type in their description, how they want it, just get something and put it in front of your customer. And it takes you no work at all. It takes you no time at all. And it doesn't cost you anything. Um, except for, like I said, if you buy credits, whatnot, but for the most part, it's super straightforward. Definitely worth playing around with. I think it's pretty cool. I think it does have some applications in my business potentially. But um, yeah, let me know. What do you guys think? Do you think this is something that's, you know, going to put artists out of business? Or do you think it's just something to play with on the side? Either way, I think this is something really cool. I've seen a couple videos about it, but nothing really specific to embroidery or DTG or for a business per se. So I wanted to bring some light to it and show you guys. Um, what are your thoughts? Let me know in the description below. 
I hope this was entertaining, maybe educational. I don't know. But either way, I hope you guys have a great day. So take care. Bye-bye.